let's go with Jan Horst here on the far inside gate here. Got a pretty good start from the inside. We also see, oh, Jack Catlin went down there. So Jan Horst grabbing the hold shot here, very break early. And um, yeah, we have Tim Schultes in second place. Ironas Bukowskas in, was in third, but got passed here. So Jan Horst is out front. Tim Schultes is second. And then we have already a small grab down to Jan Obliekman here in third. So you can already see how hard this track is. People are taking it very easy. So Riley Hugen, the first time we've seen him, I think, this year. And here comes Jason Helm. A good start for Jason. So this could be a dangerous spot for the competition. And we also see Jack Catlin. He got through pretty good uh, these first two laps. So he's in fifth, just behind Jason here. So a good start for two of the favorites here. Let's see if they can move up together. Oh, and he makes the pass on the inside of Jason. Oh, almost swaps out over that rut. But keeps it together. And oh, someone down there as well. So another spot taken for Jack. So he's in third now. Jason is following suit. Tim Schultes was it that stood still there in the corner. Oh, and I'm having trouble as well up here. So Jason is all over the back of Jack Catland here. So that's the first double step down. So Jack Gatland is almost making the move here for third place here. Riley Hugen. Oh, and Jack on the outside. No. The second. Oh, and he does. Oh, and he lands on the head of Riley. Goes down in the process. And oh, Jason Helm actually goes into the back of him as well. So Riley. Oh, and Riley makes a mistake and is a, in a bad spot here. Here comes Rasmus Balzer, the second fastest qualifier. But he goes down as well as Riley is trying to get up. So this all plays in the hands of Jarno Bleakman, who goes down, unfortunately. So Jan Horst is back up in the lead. Jarno Bleakman is back up here in riding. Jason Helm now up to third. So you see a lot of mistakes here already on the first lap for these guys. And this very typical four uphill jumps coming back. Into the option wood. Oh, and Jason swaps out a little bit, keeps it together, nice and tidy. So we have Nicolo Rosano here in fourth. Oh, and went away there for a little second. And he launches all, barely makes it up. Here comes Jack back up again, see if he can be patient enough to go back, but it's a long race. Still have plenty of laps to go, so this is just the first lap here. Nicola was switching lines last second there. Jack having a bit of a trouble. So let's check up with the front. Jan Horst is pulled out a lead here. Uh, four and a half second lead over Jarno Bleakman, who has Jason Helm all over him. Another mistake from Jarno, and Jason takes the spot by s switching to the inside. Nice pass there. So Jason, as we expected, is having a consistent race and is slowly moving forward. He will be hard, I think, in this to beat so see he's gaining a little bit on Jarno in front or um, Jan Horst in front I should say was that someone down yeah Jan Horst is down and Jason is coming into the side of him backing off there very wise I think so this is some great racing here Jason is all over Jan Horst here coming down to the first double step down Everyone's rolling that, oh, and he's he can't just he just can't find a way around. But this is very tight track, and not a lot of places to pass. So he goes on the inside here, and can he make the pass stick? Yes, he go. Oh, and he goes down, and he goes. And here comes Jack, <laughs> taking over the lead. What a series of events! Oh, and Jack goes down over the double step down. So Jan Horst, after all that, is back into the lead, and quite the gap down to see who Jack actually comes up in second so we have Rasmus Balzer the pro rider here in third and Jason is still here in fourth so oh and that was Jan Horst down uh, so it's a 
scramble for the lead here between Jack Gatlin and Rasmus Balzer. No one wants to back down and Rasmus overshoots the corner and goes down. So Jack is now in the lead. Let's see if he can hang on to it this time. Here comes Jason in second. And Nicolo Rosano. Oh, and Jason hits the bails, but that worked out well for him. So a train of riders. Here comes Jan Obliekman, Jan Horst, the early leader here. In, still in this group. Tim Schultes back up with this group. Jordi Prats, Cedric Vian, Rasmus Balzer here. And Simon Santino. There's a lot of riders here close together. So this will be a great race, I think. So coming on to lap three here. Jack Gatland in the lead. Pulling out a bit of a lead here. Uh, over Jason Helm who is in second. So Jack has the speed, the raw speed over Jason, but Jason has a um, very rarely match consistency here. So we're gonna see how this plays out. Jano Bigman in third. Nicola Rosano. Oh, and a mistake there from Jason. Will Jano make the pass? No. Jason keep holds on to second here. So Jack is still cruising here in first, has a pretty big 7 second gap already. I see Jason coming around. Second place, Jarno Bleakman in third, not really close enough to make a move here. And we see here Nicola Rosano, Rasmus Balzer here back up this very fast Dane. Oh, and he goes down a little too fast, Jan Horst back up. people everywhere here. Oh, Jan Horst tries to make the double, makes it, but goes down in the process as well. Oh, and Rasmus makes a mistake as well. Lots of mistakes here. Jack is sprinting away with this 11 second lead here in just half a lap. That's quite impressive. Oh, and Jason must have gone down because we have Jarno Bleakman here now in second place. Jason Helm back up and in third. Still all over him. What can he do about Jarno here? So lots of mistakes already in this heat. This tricky uphill jump here. And here comes the right hander before the four big uphills next to the citadel. Oh, a little bit over jump there. Jason had trouble getting over that. We have Rasmus Balzer here, the He looks to be have a little more speed in him. Oh, and he makes a mistake again. A little too impatient here to get the pass done on Jason. Jarno Bleakman has a bit of a gap now to Jason, but Jack Gatlin is running away with this in front. 2.19.7 is a very good lap time. Jarno Bleakman, you see, 2.40, 2.28, so still good. 2.31, 2.27, 2.26, so... Let's see Jack here coming through the woods down in this first series of chicanes. Nice and smooth. Yeah, dodge the bales, Jack. It's looking good here. Let's check back. Here is Rasmus, who is right on Jarno Bleakman. So. We should so and Jason has gone down, so this is for second place. Oh, and Rasmus still once again impatient and let's goes into the back of Jarno and goes down. Now it's San Moni Santini up in third place. So a gift from heavens from this Italian rider. I'm not sure I don't think Simone Santini has a podium this year. So this is a great ride for him. Jarno is still holding on to second. Rasmus and Jason and Jan Horst next. And oh, and then a pile up here between Tim Schultes and Tyler Harris. And Jordi Pratt takes advantage of this and goes by. So let's see up front how things are going. Jack, 13 point, 13 second lead here. Keeping it nice and tidy. Oh, 
going up over the citadel here. Oh, San Simone Santini in second now. So, I see him coming around. Rasmus Balzer is once again charging hard to get to the front. And him. They're going side by side up over the citadel here. Oh, and Rasmus cuts them off there. A little bit of a dirty move up the hill. But Rasmus makes the pass stick. Let's see if he can keep mistake free. See if he can catch Jack in the front. So Simone Tantini is holding on to third still. Still good decision not to battle Rasmus there. Just let him go. Jan Horst, the early leader, is in fourth. And Jason Helm in fifth. So it's anyone's race at this point. Well, Jack is running away a little bit here out front. 14.6 second lead going into the woods. We see Rasmus Balzer coming over down into the woods here, so 15 seconds approximately. Simone Santini is doing a great job back there. Keeping Jan Horst behind him and Jason is... So they're not as tightly grouped anymore as they were in the beginning. So let's see if Jason can. So Jason is basically the last person here in this field. And after this is Tim Schulte. So it's actually Jordi Pratt, but he has 10 seconds up to Jason. So a bit of a gap there. So this is a nice battle here for fifth. Tim Schulte is trying to make the pass on the outside. That's not gonna work. And everything funneled together. So much left, right, left, right through the woods here. It's hard to make a pass. So Jordi is hard on that front wheel, trying to get the front to go where he wants to. Tim not able to capitalize on anything. Jordi, so far, mistake free. Oh, a little bit over the bars there, but he saved it. A little mistake there from Tim, going up and... Here comes the right-hander before the... Oh, that was almost... This is the second step down. Tim decides to single it down. That gives Jordi a little bit of gap. So let's check back up here. Jack Gatlin, still a 14-second lead. Rasmus Balzer is just coming up here over the Citadel. So there's someone standing there beside the track. I don't know who that is, but should probably take a look at that so he doesn't do anything stupid. Simone Santini holding on to third here. Great job. Jan Horst. And was that? That was Rasmus Balzer who was down again. So Simone Santini and Jan Horst takes the opportunity to slip by. And it's drag race here between Rasmus and Jan, but Jan got, the in, got to the inside and held that line. So this is a great battle here for a second. Oh, Rasmus going up the inside takes that spot away. So can't make mistakes like that. And you will lose a position. And then Jason has been steadily creeping, creeping with these guys here in fourth. Still a very big gap down to Jordi Pratt's here in fifth. Tim Schultes, Tyler Harris, podiumed in Peraldo, I think it was. So he's no. Here comes Cedric Vian as well. Oh, and that's Tyler Harris, and oh, Cedric Vian goes right into him. So let's see, here comes Jeremy Monso. Oh, and he gets a bit flustered and went down as well. Nicola Rosano, let's check back here. Oh, and we have a lot of big gap here. Tim Vogt is far behind. Riley Hugen was I think pretty well placed at the beginning, but lost a lot of places. Alessandro Lorenzo, Braxton Knapp, Patrick Klein, Baltink, and then we have Rice Harris in the amateur class. Oh, he must have switched last minute, but he's not moving, so let's check back into the lead. Jack Catlin here, 28 second lead here for Jack. 
pulling out some great consistent laps, which is a really hard thing to do here. 219, 221, very fast, very consistent. This is the champion that we have come to know uh, this series. He has had two rough races, but we can clearly hear see why he's the champion. I know he wanted to go out with a bang here in the last round, so that's exactly what he's doing. 30 second lead here. And I don't think that was the last lap. We'll see. Yeah, there was. So it's the last lap here for uh, Jack. Simone Santini is riding great here in second place. Uh, and Jason Helm, consistency is once again a victor. So he's in third. Very good race for Jason. Rasmus just can't keep it on two wheels. Even though he's a pro rider, he just can't do enough consistent racing to contend for the win. So do we have anything here? Last lap here for Jack. Let's go on board with Jack for a little bit. 297 last one round. So yeah, getting the line through the wood parts here is very, very... Uh, oh, and Jack goes down. Very small tip over. He has 32 seconds uh, to use, so no danger, danger here. And then we go up over the past the cafe. And then this hard double step up and then the right hander here before the citadel jumps. So let's look back, see if we have any f battles going on. Simone Santini is sitting nicely here in second place with quite a lot. So Rasmus Balzer has taken over third from Jason Helm. So Jason must have made a mistake. Rasmus jumping down there. Nice power slide. Can Jason, this is the last lap, so can Jason mount a charge here at the end to see if he can catch Erasmus? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I'm gonna leave the stream right after these guys finish uh, because I have to prepare for my, my race. So Jack crosses the finish line in first. Very nicely done. Uh, Simone Santini here, we, we're gonna wait another 30 seconds. But Jack Gatlin will broadcast the MX1 amateurs, or try to. We, we're not sure if his internet is up to snuff for it, but he will try. So, I'm gonna let these guys finish here, the top four. So Rasmus Baltz are almost catching up to him. So there you go. Rathmus Balzer in third and Jason Helm in fourth. I'm gonna stop the stream right here and we'll be back to uh, stream the pro races. See you then.